G'day guys, and welcome to uh, Windows 8 install installation instructions part 2, which will be how to set up the system. Now, we just, on the last episode, uh, learned how to do all the hard stuff. Now it's just setting up the OS as you like it. And as you can see, this should be restoring stuff, because that's what it does. I save the state because... A, if you shut it down, you probably won't get the right screen up again. And B, because I've had problems with shutdowns before in Windows 8. Interestingly enough, the other one I had just took forever to start up and kept resetting itself, I think. I never let it fully complete. But that's irrelevant. Anyway, once this starts up, hopefully we'll get to uh, show you how to set up Windows 8 uh, however you like. As you can see, it says personalize in the background which is pretty much what we'll be doing. And it works for most other PCs, but there's a few extra things on different OSs that you need to do, operating systems, like on Ubuntu, there's a few extra things. I might show you how to install Ubuntu, okay. Sh show you how to install Ubuntu next time. Anyway, this bit is obviously pretty simple. All you got to do is pick a colour scheme that you like, and I don't like black and white, so... That sounded a bit racist, but anyway. Um, apparently we're very racist culture in Australia. Never heard that before. <laughs> anyway, I like that colour. And PC name. You can call it whatever you like. It's got an example of living room PC. But I prefer to call my computers... Nah, just kidding. I don't prefer to call them real names. For instance, Fred is a real name, but I'm not calling this computer Fred. That's stupid. This one is going to be called... Um, testing. Testing setup. Um, don't use spaces. You can use underscores by the looks, but spaces won't work. Neither will any of these characters, apparently. Anyway, testing setup. Okie dokie, that's easy. Now, I suppose you just hit enter. Yep, you just hit enter. And then Express settings. This actually, hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on, I'll just scale this to right, uh, the right size. This is quite slow today. Scale mode, please. Switch. Yes, come on. Oh, oh, what just happened? There we go. Now, if I press that, yes, that's what we want. Okay. So, we'll probably want to customise, because we like doing that. Okay. Home sharing connect to devices. Yes, we'll turn that on. That, I guess, is something to do with your home group and Windows 7, Windows 8 phones. Whenever Windows 8 phone comes out. Yeah. Help protect and update your PC. Yep. Go on. Get device drivers for new devices. Yes. Apps and info for new devices, yes. Help check PC for unsafe content. Yes. Not that I'm gonna be ever using real well using Internet Explorer too much. Don't love it particularly. In Microsoft and Okay, I just turn the, all these on. Uh, a little laggy this. Come on. Ah, what is going on? This is awful. There we go. When I say a little laggy, I mean very laggy. I'm glad I don't have a touchpad because that would just be awful. Okay. Ugh. It's obviously a little laggy because it's running in VirtualBox with half the amount of RAM it's meant to have. Well, not quite half. It's probably also because I'm recording, which is probably sucking up a bit of RAM. Okay. Yeah, that'll be right. You can go through and read what they say when you do it. Let apps use my name and account picture. 
that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, you need an email address, and probably you need a Microsoft account, which is Hotmail or Live address, I think. So I'm going to use mine. Well, I spell it right. Please don't spam me with emails now. Because I don't like email spamming. And you just need a Windows Live account, basically. If you've got an Xbox account, that'll be right. An Xbox Live account, you can use that. Because that's basically hooked in with Microsoft, if you didn't know. So, then it'll just check that you're actually telling the truth. And that that's your Microsoft account. Or, and that, that it is a Microsoft account, rather. And it'll probably ask for your password, if memory serves. Now, the funny thing is... Phones, like with Android phones, it'll ask you for a Gmail account. With Windows Phone 7 phones, it'll obviously ask you for a Hotmail account. With iPhone phones, you need an iTunes account. I don't get what is up with this. I mean, I never... Okay, it's liked it. I never... For this, to set up this computer on Windows 7, I never really needed an email address. Which was, well, it asked me for one in registration details, but that was for HP, not for this. Microsoft stuff. Okay, now my password. Yeah, guess what? You don't get to know that. Uh, lag, lag, lag. Oh well. Next time you get a computer with 8GB of RAM, I suppose. Yeah, so obviously don't run this in VirtualBox. Record it. And do anything else, run it on Windows 7, if you don't already have more than 4GB of RAM, because if you have less than 4GB of RAM, just don't even think about running this, because it will be completely useless. It, that's assuming you're running Windows 7. Windows Vista runs, well, the basic version runs on 512 Mega of RAM, if my memory serves. Okay, I do not live in the United States. That is my other account, and I don't have a phone. Funnily enough. You know what? Screw that. Uh, they like to be very exact, don't they? With everything. Just say that'll do. Alternate email. That's linked in with something else. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I think on your Hotmail account you can add in an ultimate... E alt alternate, sorry, not ultimate alternate email and that'll send you a save me link if you need to reset your password or whatever because obviously if you can't get into your hotmail account it's not going to send you a reset password there for your hotmail account it's pretty stupid i mean yes that's basically very stupid it'd be like facebook sending you a uh, message and message telling you what your password is but you can't even get into your Facebook account. I don't know, I don't have Facebook, don't judge me. Anyway, I assume it's something like that. One thing that really irks me is that kids at school use, like they say, I'll, s I'll send you an inbox. That's, that's my favourite term that I've heard this year, is I'll send you an inbox and sending me an inbox would be sending me a tray, basically, that I can store files in. If any of you know what ancient filing is like, an inbox is basically where all correspondence comes in, and then you read it and put it on the boss's desk or whatever. Just very organised way of doing things. Then an app box, well, you, the boss would put his stuff in the app box and the check out, no, <laughs> check out check, rather, the uh, administration girl would well, guy would come across, uh, come along and take it. Creating my account? Hold on a second. I already have a Hotmail account. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Anyway, then that would be how correspondence used to work in a fancy office. Um, or at least that's how I think it is. My dad used to work there. Not anymore, thankfully. That job was awful. Kids, don't grow up to work in banking. It gives you too many grey hairs. 
Anyway. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. I'm going to clip the recording until it's finished it. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. And it's come up with this screen. And hopefully this will take just a moment, as it says. But it's an advancement on creating your account, I suppose. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. I've seen bad things happen on Windows 8. Okay, guys, just going to uh, have to clip the recording. In a minute, I've found that the um, recording that goes on lags so much that it can't even render it properly. So I had to remove them. All that I need to tell you is that in the top left-hand corner, I can't show you because this has all been pre this bit anyway has been pre-recorded. But the bit in the there's will be a little uh, in a little window in the top left-hand corner telling you what's happening, and it'll say initializing something and then installing Outlook and stuff like that and setting up this and that and whatever and then it should launch properly if you get an issue then I'm not sure what's wrong with it, it could be just your computer anyway guys that's all you need to know and we'll see you later in the next movie which might be Game Maker tomorrow maybe anyway see you guys bye <laughs>